Welcome to this tips and tricks video. In gas stations, you have these reach-in beverage coolers, food coolers, that have an air curtain at the top. And so taking this CAD geometry, cutting it in half, what you have down on the bottom of it is you have a fan, and then you have a condenser. This box here is a condenser. This is a fan box. There are actually two fans in it, one on this side, one on this side. So when you cut it down the middle, you have symmetry. And using Fluent, here's the area where the fan is. So using Fluent, you can actually simplify the fan geometry and the condenser geometry. Uh, you can just make a simple round cylinder, small round cylinder, to represent the fan. But you can also then make it a sink. Instead of a source, you can make it a heat sink. So it actually cools down the air as it goes through that fan, that simplified fan model. So when you get into Fluent, you can have a boundary condition on a fan wall. And when you double click on it, it opens up this fan zone. You can have a pressure drop, a jump. So you specify where that fan, that face of the fan is. You specify what that pressure jump is going to be, in this case in Pascal's, 3,160 Pascal's. I just basically played with this number until I got the velocity I was looking for coming out of the fan region. Then what you can also do is in the cell zone that is a round cylinder <clears throat> that is a fan, you can put in an energy source. And this energy source is actually a sink. So I'm taking out this many watts per meter cubed. And it's a pretty small area, so that looks like a big number, but it's a pretty thin, small cylinder. But I'm sucking out energy, and that's simulating, without actually modeling a condenser, that's simulating the condenser and the sink of temperature that gets sucked out of the air as it goes through it, and air gets cooled off, recirculates back through that food and beverage container. And when you get into CFD Post, you can see I have half of my beverage and juice and soda container. And if I turn it sideways, I can look at temperatures on the food products themselves, which range from 36 to 40 degrees, which is good. That's in the acceptable range there. I can also see the flow path and streamlines of the air as it recirculates through here. You can see when it hits the fan, it gets accelerated. What I'm looking at here, though, on the streamlines is I'm looking at temperatures. So it gets cooled down to less than 30 degrees as it comes through the fan, and that's the effect of my sim a simplified condenser, my sink region in there. Cools off the air, the air flows up, it goes into some of these uh, particular areas where the food and beverages uh, are. And then a lot of it also gets uh, recirculated up through the top, and it forms an air curtain. You can see kind of the boundary layer here, and warmer temperatures as some of that uh, room temperature air that's above 70 degrees Fahrenheit gets entrained in here, but then gets cooled off by the condenser. So basically, there's Fluent has a nice capability of, without putting a mesh on the fan or on the condenser, of simulating both of those with some real simplified models. With the fan model that's built into Fluent, you can get the rotational momentum. And with the sink or source term that's in Fluent, you can also suck energy out of that region to simulate the condenser. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Join us again for another Tips and Tricks video.